right, so let's do a, the swap uh, array example. We did it first in JShell. Now let's do it in IntelliJ. Okay, so I'm going to go new project. Uh, so I'm JDK version 14. I'm next, next, next. Let's uh, call it um, my other swap project like that. We're going to put it in a new window. It appeared in the other screen, so I'll just drag it over here. All right, so source, new, class, um, my, oops, my other swap class. We'll just call it that. All right, now we're going to do main. I hit enter, fills it in for me. Now, from there, I need to create a class. Okay, and this, sorry, I need to create a method. A method, not a class. I need to create a method inside of my other swap class, okay, just under the main method. So this is the second method. I'm going to call it public static void swap array. And I'm going to feed into swap array a, um, a variable or a reference to a variable that is of type uh, uh, integer and it's, it's an array. Okay, so the array like that and I need to be able to swap two elements in an array. So the first parameter I'm going to pass in is the location within the array of the first thing I want to swap. And then the second or uh, the other variable, uh, sorry, the third parameter I'm going to put in is going to be the other element that I want to swap. So int i is the first uh, location and int j is the second location. So curly brace to open it up. And then I need to have a temporary var variable in here called temp value to store one of those uh, variable or one of those values in the array. And we're going to go uh, temp value is equal to the array. And so I'm going to take the very first element in the swap and remove it, not remove it, but make a copy of it and place it to the side, okay, in temp value. And then I'm going to take uh, the array at position i, which I just stored, copy of that value, and I'm going to bring in the value from position j, like that. Okay. Then I'm going to take uh, the array at position j, so the element at position j, and I'm going to take the stored value and I'm going to put it inside of it. So temp value like that. And so now I've done the swap. Um, that's completed. There's nothing else to do in there. All right, that's fantastic. So now I have to, within my main method, I need to call this. Uh, but before that, I need a variable uh, with data in it. So I'm going to have an integer, and we're going to make, uh, so this is going to be a variable of type integer, but it's going to be an array. And I'm going to say um, uh, my great array. And we're going to say this has uh, got a contents of, um, let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50, like that. Okay, so it's an array, and it's got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 values in it. Now, I'm going to call swap up, and you see IntelliJ knows that I've got this other method called swap array. I just uh, hit tab to complete the name there, and I'm going to pass in, what did I call it? I called it my great array. So my great array. So I'm going to pass in a reference to that array right there. And I'm going to say that I want to swap out the values at position um, zero. Okay, and, and it tells me, oh, that's that's parameter i. And then I want to uh, switch out the value in the array from position zero with the one in position one. Okay, like that. Okay, so that's i and j. So I've got my great array, uh, i and j, and I'm going to pass that in. All right, so I compile that just to make sure it works. It should, and let's uh, let's run that. Let's just see what happens. Run. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh look, uh, nothing happened. What would I do? What would I do? Oh, I got a print. Okay, so here we go. So we're gonna go and let's uh, let's take a look at. So I'm gonna do uh, the system out business. Okay, so print line right here. And I'm going to say um, the original contents of the array like that. 
and let's go plus my uh, my greater rate like that okay yeah and then over here let's do the same thing let's run that taking a look taking a look taking a look what's going on huh the original contents of the array is that that doesn't look like it. oh hold on what could possibly oh wait there's a, uh, a light bulb right here light bulb wrap with Java util arrays to string. What the heck is that? What would that be? So I clicked on that. Oh, same light bulb right there. So it says, uh, so it's modified what I've concatenated uh, like that. Let's let's try that out. Let's let's see what happens if I if I do this. This, I, I have a feeling this is gonna be good. I have a feeling this is gonna be really really good. All right, look at that. Isn't this cool? So I didn't know how to do it at first, and IntelliJ prompted me for how I should concatenate the contents of the array based on, well, what normally happens. It's basically calling in, oh, look at what it did. It imported in something called, uh, a library called Java Util Arrays. And there's a, uh, basically we've got a method that's being called in that basically takes my great array, which is a fantastic array, and, and shows me um, what's supposed to be in here okay now it it then puts it in in a, a form that can be printed out and you can see down here that originally it's 10 20 30 40 and 50 and then my contents gets shifted around so that the position 0 and position 1 elements of the array get swapped out so here you go so we've shown you how to do it in J shell and now we're showing you how to do it with these print statements within IntelliJ, and we can see that the method actually works in both cases. All right, take care, everyone. Mm -hmm.